So you're creating a big fight scene in Roblox Studio. You have all the characters set up, the entire scene is ready, everything's going great. And then you open the animation editor to get ready to start your epic battle scenes and animations, and then you realize that you messed up. You realize you can only animate one character at a time, and you have to manually time everything, and then type a bunch of code to script it to run at the same time, and just hope that it all lines up, or else you're, you're gonna have a mess. However, with the most advanced calculations known to mankind, I have discovered a way where you can animate all of these characters and anything else you want at the same time! By that I mean I accidentally discovered it while making animations for a film called Chicken Nugget Man Endgame. Does it at least look good though? Okay, enough procrastinating. Here's how you do it. Okay, first of all, you're just gonna build anything you want. Get all your characters in the scene, just get everything that you're gonna need. Then you're gonna add a model into the workspace, which you can name whatever you want after you added it. I'm just gonna name it Scene, since that'll be more convenient. Next, you're gonna wanna go into your characters and delete the humanoid body colors, basically anything except for their limbs that you're gonna be animating. Next, you're going to add folders into the scene object, one for each rig that you're going to be animating. I would also recommend giving them the same names as the rigs you're going to animate, as that will help you stay organized. Now move the limbs from each of the characters into their respective folders. I would also recommend deleting the humanoid root part before you do this, although I don't think it's necessary. It would be wise to do it just in case though. Next, you're going to want to add a humanoid into the model that all of the other characters are inside of, and then you're going to add an animator to the inside of that humanoid. This will allow the characters to be animated. Next, you are going to want to add a part into that model. You're going to make sure that it's anchored, and you're going to change the transparency to 1 so that it cannot be seen. If you can find Can Collide, also make sure to turn that off, although I was not able to find it for this demonstration. Rename the part so you will be able to identify it later. I recommend something like Humanoid Root Part, just so you know that it is going to be the main part of our model. Select your scene model, go to the properties window, find the empty bar next to primary part, click on it, and then click the humanoid root part. This will make the humanoid root part the main part of our model. Using a plugin called Rig Edit Light, you are going to select the scene model, then open the plugin. You are going to select humanoid root part, hold down control, and then click the torso model on your first character. Then you are going to select create joints. This will make it so the character is able to move. You are going to want to do this with every single character. Creating joints separately for each one of their torsos will allow them all to be able to move independently but still be in the same animation. Now what you are going to want to do is you are going to want to rename every one of their limbs. For example, for the first character, rename head to head one, rename left arm to left arm one, and so on. And do the same for the second character, and third character if there is one. This will make sure that all of the parts have different names, so it does not lead to complications in the animation editor. Now when you go into the animation editor, you will be able to animate all of them at the same time instead of each one individually. This will allow you to create a movie-like scene where all of them are interacting with each other as accurately as they can possibly get. So just finish up your scene, add some fancy decorations, lighting, just, just do whatever you want. Once you are satisfied with the results, you can go into the animation editor and start making your movie. Here's what I managed to come up with. I'm not going to get into all the little details of animating, although I do ask you to experiment around with some of the easing styles there to see what works best for you. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Goodbye!